Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. Power and spin, both essential elements in politics and tennis. So perhaps that explains why so many presidents and presidential candidates are devoted tennis players. A nice perk of winning the White House is playing on the private tennis court right in the backyard. So before the nation chooses its next president, we thought we'd look back at some of the top presidential players in history. Tennis's place in the White House dates back to the turn of the century, the 20th century. President Theodore Roosevelt was an all-sport athlete who loved boxing, judo, and tennis. Interestingly, according to the PBS documentary, The Roosevelt's, the president did not let the media cover his daily matches at the White House, and here's why. Photographers were forbidden to cover his daily tennis games because he thought voters considered tennis a rich man's pastime. President John F. Kennedy grew up playing sports in a highly competitive family. Here's the young JFK playing doubles with his brother, Robert Kennedy. President Kennedy and his wife, Jackie, were a pretty formidable mixed doubles pair. And their son, the late John F. Kennedy Jr., also an excellent player who frequently attended the U.S. Open. Jimmy Carter grew up playing tennis in Georgia and hosted regular matches when he became president in 1977. And in 1977, President Carter's brother, Billy Carter, hosted a world team tennis event in the Carter family hometown of Plains, Georgia. That event featured tennis diplomacy, bringing Russian players together with American pros, including Chris Everett. A former college football player, President Ronald Reagan, was a fine judge of athletic talent and reportedly very impressed meeting the young Venus and Serena Williams. 41 years before George H.W. Bush became the nation's 41st Commander-in-Chief, he was captain and first baseman of the Yale Bulldogs baseball team. President Bush was also an avid tennis player, and as vice president, he partnered with Bjorn Borg in his doubles match against Vitas Gerolaitis and the Swedish ambassador. Bet that was fun. President Bush also praised Borg as a fan favorite of Americans because of his cool, classy behavior, even against raging rebels Jimmy Connors and John McEnroe. And all of us Americans were rooting for Bjorn because of the way he conducted himself, because of that outstanding leadership and spirit and excellence that he brought to the tennis court. The president knew how to pick his partners, too. He played doubles with both Hall of Famers Pete Sampras and Chris Evert. President Bush was inducted into the Texas Tennis Hall of Fame in 2014. And tennis runs deep in the Bush family. President George W. Bush spoke at the dedication ceremony of the Bush Tennis Center in Midland, Texas a few years back and detailed exactly what the game has meant to him. First thing I think about when I think about tennis is a great dad. I learned that the ball doesn't always bounce the way you want it to. I mean, life, you're going to get a bad bounce, just like you do on the tennis court. And the question is, you can still play the game. President Bill Clinton hails from Hope, Arkansas, and hailed legendary Billie Jean King as an inspirational figure of hope. President Clinton brought fans in Madison Square Garden to their feet, paying tribute to Billie Jean King as a national hero at the 2009 PNB Paribas Showdown. So tonight, for all of you who are a little down and a little worried, remember, if you have the heart of a champion, if you have the heart of Billie Jean King, you can belong, you can prevail. In the year 2000, Bill Clinton became the first sitting U.S. president to visit the U.S. Open, where he watched a match between Pete Sampras and Leighton Hewitt. The president sat next to Johnny Mac and his kids, enjoying the view from a courtside box. In 2009, President Barack Obama honored Billie Jean King with the prestigious Medal of Freedom, lauding the Hall of Famer as an agent of change in American culture. And last spring, President Obama hosted USTA President Katrina Adams, Caroline Wozniacki, and the Easter Bunny, and a slew of excited kids at the annual White House Easter Egg Roll. The president showed some pretty sharp tennis skills, not only hitting a drop shot winner against Wozniacki, then he did a little trash talking. Caroline says the day was an amazing experience. 
Current presidential candidate Donald Trump is a huge tennis fan and a huge fan of winning. And here's what happened when he took on the world number one. Looks like the Donald has some pop on that forehand. It also looks like Serena took it a little easy on the Republican frontrunner. Mr. Trump is a devoted tennis fan who attends the U.S. Open every year. The man who built Manhattan's Trump Tower knows exactly how tough the New York crowd can be. There he is in the house. Did you hear the radio? Oh. Rough crowd here. It's, it's New crowd. York. It's New yeah. York. <laughs> That's our look at tennis and politics. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.